in this episode, we start building the cross beams for our catamaran. We work comfortably in Jan's workshop with lots of professional tools. We mix huge amounts of epoxy and do the finishing touch. Hi, my name is Anna and this is my husband Life Eric. He came up with this idea to build a simple catamaran, put it in a container and send it from ice cold Norway to Tahiti in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. This way we could start sailing in paradise. I said, what a crazy idea. Let's do it. This is the adventure of building and sailing Bada Bada. A catamaran or a Polynesian double canoe needs cross beams to hold the two hulls together. They could be fastened in different ways. We followed the drawings of our Warham Tiki 38 and were later to lash the beams together with hulls with long ropes tied around many times and finally fastened with a special knot. Out of 18 mm plywood, Norwegian pine and glue, we made the four cross beams. It was uh, absolutely fantastic to be able to work in Jan's workshop with tools, electrical and manual, and of course, all the space. The crop beams were long and heavy. The longest of the four were close to six meters and weighed more than 100 kilos, believe it or not. The plywood uh, was first cut in the right size. We would then mix huge amounts of epoxy. Then we use paint rollers to apply the epoxy. We would always apply epoxy on both sides. We would then stick the pieces together and use huge screw clamps to sort of, you know, like this, <laughs> to hold the pieces firmly together for it to harden properly. And let's uh, get the terminology, which is a difficult word in Norwegian. Uh, anyway, let's get it correct. Epoxy does not dry. It hardens or cures. It's a it's actually a chemical reaction. It goes from liquid to gel to a solid state. And we had to work rather quickly, otherwise the epoxy would almost start like boiling. That's when it would get all hot in the box and we knew it would become hard very quickly. On the top of the plywood, we used Norwegian pine. When all glued together, we mixed the epoxy with a lot of filler. Filler is almost like flour and was used to thicken the uh, epoxy. Uh, we would then make what we in Norwegian call a hulki. It's a funny word and we would always laugh when the, someone said, ready to make the hulki? It's called fillet in English. It's a thick sort of seam in the corners of the plywood to make the construction stronger. Uh, I must admit, and you can uh, also see on our photos and in our videos, we did not take much care health-wise when gluing. I mean, we always used gloves, but that was about all the protection we had. I would strongly recommend that if you are going to use epoxy, do use a good mask and cover not only your hands, but your body as well. 
I sometimes joke about my husband, which is very allergic to a lot of things, but he is luckily not allergic to epoxy and not to me. We were mostly four people working in Jan's workshop that winter and none of us got any allergic reactions to the epoxy. But in the hot weather of July, it just started getting rashes on her arms and had to just stop gluing immediately. Itta works for Doctors Without Borders and gave us a very good advice when using disposable gloves. One, be sure to get the right size. Do not have like one box for the whole team because you're gonna, you're gonna end up using a lot of disposable gloves anyway. And two, wear two gloves on the top of each other because when you sweat, it is really much more easy to take out one pair and put the other pair on the top. Otherwise, it's almost impossible to get, get it on. To remove it, you have a nice, clean, disposable glove underneath. When we had glued it all together, it needed to harden. So we usually did one big step each Saturday and only worked in Jan's workshop on Saturdays. <laughs> But in between, Life Eric would do lots of planning for the next Saturday. So we would always be well prepared and have whatever we needed. Usually we got together around 11 and worked until 5. And that winter we made the cross beams, the tillers, the rudder, rudders, hatches and lots of other stuff. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. I put out new videos every second Friday and Fridays in between, I put out a short story of the building part. Uh, if you like what you see, subscribe and hit the buttons and it's free. And if you want to support me, check out Patreon, PayPal or Coffee. And patrons get the videos earlier and they also get uh, some extra material. And beside that, I have started making mugs for each episode. Check them out and please start collecting. If you uh, have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And you will find all links in the description below. Massive thanks to everyone who supports this project. It makes a huge difference. <laughs>